Manishma, I'm Jenny. Thanks for watching Doing Life with Jenny. Today's topic is a bit controversial. We're talking about why I don't want to have children. I don't know why this has become a controversial topic, but it is, so stay tuned. Firstly, I probably can't even have children. I have prolactinoma. Um, without getting into too many details, basically my body thinks I'm already pregnant, so I can't become pregnant. Slightly related, number two, is I am already 36 years old. I don't even have a boyfriend. Um, at best, I have a date lined up this week. Okay, so by the time I meet someone, if I do meet someone that is, and we get engaged, and we get married, and we have some time to ourselves, hang on doggy, what are you doing? He's eating the home decor. Um, <laughs> I'll be halfway dead and don't know if you know this already, but there is a time limit. And once you hit that time limit, you can no longer have children, even if you decide you want to. Number three is the simple fact that I am terrified of giving birth. I know it's supposed to be well worth it, but I don't want to go through it to find out. I can't really explain why, but I'm sure some of, some of you can relate. I think we're on number four. This one is also health related, but I'm not sure what the problem is exactly. But I am always extremely tired. It does not ma matter if I slept so well. It doesn't matter if I slept eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. I am always exhausted. It literally takes every ounce in me to come home after work and to get my dinner or to work my side hustles take care of the dogs, I have to force myself to stay awake until 8 o'clock. So throw a kid in the mix, I literally would not be able to function. Like, even sleeping well, I can't function, so how am I going to function if I'm up taking care of a kid, having to wake up earlier to get the kid ready before I get myself ready? I can't even fathom that. Number five is cost related. So after analyzing the situation and realizing, okay, maybe I'm just scared of ch childbirth, um, I can't miss out on my sleep, maybe we'll just adopt a child that's a little older and we can avoid all of this. Well, one, it costs a ridiculous amount to even adopt a child, even if you could afford it or fi find some kind of grant program if that sort of thing exists. I couldn't even afford to add the child onto my insurance. It would be $700 a month to add a dependent onto my insurance. That is more than is what is left over in my budget every month. And I'm a very frugal person. I'm very good with my money. Check out my budget videos. If you're like, oh, you must get your hair dyed and your nails done, drink Starbucks coffee, that is not the case, folks. Literally can't afford it. Not to mention the added cost of like clothing and food, all of those extra expenses. Literally could not afford a child, especially as a single person. Number six, which judge away if you want, is that maybe I'm a bit selfish, but it's better for me to recognize this than bring a child into my home for it not to get the attention that it deserves. But I teach roughly 150 kids all day, every day. And honestly, it's like teaching is kind of like being an actress. Like you are on, you are on all day, every day, even if you feel miserable, you have to bring some kind of energy to the classroom to hold the kids' attention. I can't imagine coming home and faking that energy all evening as well. Like, I come home, I need some free time. I need some downtime. I need to unwind, not be on mentally for another four or five hours. Because if you can't see, I'm already dragging today without children. Um, did not sleep well at all, like, it took every ounce in me to even sit down and turn my phone on to record this. I feel like a zombie today, so I had a kid into the mix, I just could not give it what it deserves. There's another point, I keep calling it an it, so probably it's just not meant to be, right? And I think we'll end it with number seven, which is maybe something that you're thinking is that, well, what if you do find someone soon and get married sooner than you thought? 
and then there you go you have supplemental income to help you you have another set of hands to help you i mean society is slowly changing but let's be honest a lot of the child rearing falls on the women's shoulders i think i can only name one person i have seen where the mom and the dad split the work equally Otherwise, it's mom's job to get them ready for school, mom's job to take care of the homework, mom's job to respond to the teacher's emails, mom's job to put dinner on the table. Like again, things are slowly changing, but still not to the point where I could trust somebody to like do their part. Yeah, so thanks for sticking around with this very low energy that I have today. It's, these dogs did not let me sleep at all on top of me being tired at all times to begin with but here we are <laughs> thanks for listening and feel free to leave some comments like do you want children why or why not i would love to hear your input thanks for watching and see you next time